son. You take your place among the elders. You rise up, son. For as a child, yea, even as an infant, has were laid on you. Declaration was made. You were set apart. But somehow you got waylaid. See, you never backslide. You just didn't do what you're supposed to, which is worse. By the way, I can forgive a druggie, but I can't forgive a guy that's got all that you got and didn't do it. Shame on you. Oh, God. Shame on you, son. Take your place. Rise up. Rise up, my man. You're a, you're a, you're a fun folk. Well, I, may, I, may I be so bold? You want him? I can tell you this is a fine folder. I'm taking them out of the stuff. I'm bringing them out of the carriage of the world. I'm, I'm taking them out of all those, those incidentals that have troubled him and have tormented him and told him he wasn't, he wasn't who did he think he was because all these troubles came on him. And God allowed him to you to get humble. You need a whole lot of humble. And that's why God gave you such a Because he loves you so much. Because he wants you to be able. To take those. Because see, you can do it. In the natural, you're the kind of guy that says, the reason they can't, they don't have any money, they don't work. Well, maybe their emotions are so crippled, they can't. And because you haven't been crippled, you don't understand them. But God has crippled you up in a lot of ways so that now you will be able to go and lift them up into the high place where you are. So get back into your high place. I speak financial, financial blessing on you. I ask that your business recuperate. <laughs> and that is the enemy stole from you. He's going to give you back. Those little rascals are going to hear I don't know what's going to happen. But they're going to come back and give back to you what got stolen. And you need to really begin. I'm going to admonish you in love because you got a great calling. I declare you a Joseph. I declare you a Joseph. I impart to you by the Spirit and by the authority given to me by, by the Lord himself through his prophet, I lay on you a mantle of a Joseph. What? And I lay on you the purse of finances. You need to know something. From the very beginning, we've had problems with money. The first treasure in the body of Christ was the devil. God literally killed a couple. Not because they didn't give, but because they didn't give it all like they said they were going to. Hey, come on now, this is serious stuff. He goes, oh, the kingdom of God. Oh, that, that. Hey, this guy walked into church. You know the story? Brother, uh, did you sell your property? Yeah, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. Brother, did you sell? Yes. Did you give that? Yes. You're lying. You're lying to the Holy Ghost. And within five minutes, you're going to be dead. Boy, talk about a pastor getting up and, and making that kind of a, of a, a tithe call. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Never got my wallet. I got, I got oh, everything on the cheapskate. Well, yeah. I got my wallet. Wife comes in. You know she was one of the good-looking sisters. He lied to us, and so did you. And now you're going to die too. Two people literally died. Our family was wiped out. There might be some kids, but our mom and dad, because we had money problems in the church from day one. Most ministries that get big get caught. I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it like it is. They get caught up with the money. They get caught up with the send me so I can have more airtime. They spend more airtime so they can raise more money and pretty soon the cars get a little different and pretty soon where they live is a little bit different and pretty soon we've got good people giving good money to good people who are doing bad. But now God's going to raise. Now we're back to you. Who is this guy? Go with Yes, <laughs> listen to this. Joseph 
went to Egypt and became a businessman. And he became very wealthy. And with those that rejected him, the church. That's right. I'm a Joseph too, so I know about this. The church rejected that which was with all the brothers to try to kill him. But when they came in the church of desert, in the midst of a depression, in the midst of a famine, they went and Joseph wept and provided for the king. Joseph Purse is the most important ministry in the body of Christ today. And it's going to take men and women. I'm not talking about hundreds of thousands. I'm talking about millions That's of right. dollars. Billions for some people. Because I'm going to tell you what I said it before here. If, if God can take care of a duck team with a gazillionaire giving 190 million dollars to, to a football team, don't you think our God can raise up a, 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 a man and make him a billionaire so he can support ministries that are out there doing the work day and night, night and day, giving them themselves, giving their families to go in without? I don't want our families to go without because we're doing ministry. So he's going to raise up Joseph, and I declare you one. Your business is going to grow. Your business is going to prosper as you see him about one, how to do it, two, what to do with it, and three, how to spend it. And someday, if you do it right, you'll be able to live on 10% of what you get. Amen. And give nice to the people and get better, better with a more beautiful home, more beautiful things to God. God doesn't want you to live as a pauper. How's he going to show us how we can be prosperous too if you're walking around with no shoes? You're going to have it all when you're in that place <laughs> when you give 90 and keep 10. And I'll say it again, that 10% will be more than you could ever make by keeping your 90 and giving you 10. Father, if anybody agrees with me, come my hands up. Uh, I'm going to have the men do it this time. Well, I'm his wife, so. Yes. Yeah. You get us out of here. Oh, Jesus! Oh, <laughs> I have a prayer. Well, God. Somebody pray. Yes. Father, I thank you that we come into agreement <laughs> with these words of life. Father, uh, you said it, and you will bring it to pass. Yes. And we thank you that our brother will be obedient to the voice of the Lord and follow that, which is good. But you've already started planting the seeds in his heart so that he knows yes. exactly how to walk. And you've given him witty and clever inventions. And he's just thinking, that's just out of my own mind. No, it's not out of the mind. It comes out of the spirit, out of the heart of man, given by the spirit of God through revelation. We just thank you, Father, for the increase of the more. Increase of the more. More love for you, more obedience to you, more faithfulness to you, and more desire for you. The more. Amen. Come on, if you got to give him that, ain't no time to be holding back. Thank you, Father, for exercising, exercising Larry's perspective, the strengthening of the spirit, and I, and I just thought, uh, just thought, uh, eagerness, and an excitement of what's coming in the future. Thank you, Father, for giving him new hope and a new heart. Father, we lift Larry up for your divine guidance and revelation. May you shower upon him riches and wealth beyond his wildest Father, we believe that he will give 90% and live on 10%. And we will enjoy your riches and love you forevermore. Yes, God. Hey, Lord, I just thank you for Larry and his prophecy he had that he is moving ahead. He's going to be like, I believe, the turnovers to 90%. Man. I thank you, Lord. We all know who the eternal is. I do know. Lord, I just thank you that uh, somehow I say it's time to find the wolf of this man in Jesus' name.